Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, I am starting this new, let's just say, let's call it the NURB Vault. Uh, of, I, if you don't know, I have over 1,100 videos, and uh, that's a lot of videos. And I want to take you guys back to the uh, good ones, the ones that inspired me to do all everything that I've done in my past. In this, uh, this so year and a year and two months of YouTubing. So this video was with one of the first persons, actually the first person that I ever did co-op video with. And uh, it, it's Poop Monster, if you guys don't know who he is. Um, he played a lot back in the day. Uh, and uh, it was actually interesting. I really enjoyed playing with him. And uh, we, we came up with this skit that we were going to do. And it was, um, well, let's just go ahead and get to the video so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you see right here, <laughs> this is, uh, let's just see if you guys can guess it just from the intro. <laughs> this is all still images, by the way. One image at a time, and I figured it would be the best way, because it looks exactly like, or I thought it looked at, at the time, like uh, the, the show that we were trying to mimic off of. We're not trained actors, so this is... Dual survival! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I enjoy doing this a lot. Trapped in the Louisiana Swampland, Jason Canterbury and Josh Lundeen will show you what it takes to survive in this week's Minecraft Dual Survival. <laughs> now, I, I really love the spinning effect that I did there. It was actually quite unique to me at the time because we were trying to do different ways than just okay a first person minecraft experience we wanted to do a third person and that's where we got the whole gimmick of this whole idea now this is actually off of an episode of dual survival we copied a lot of it off of it but uh, it's it's kind of original some of the lines are taken off of it but you'll see all right josh in this scenario we're cruising down the louisiana swamplands waterways and we ran out of gas in our boat and our engine cut out. So let's scout around, just look around the boat, see what we can salvage. Now these skins were actually skins that we found from uh, from I think it was like MinecraftSkins.com or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but we also edited them pretty yeah, yeah edited them pretty heavily so we could actually make them look like the two characters. So uh, that's pretty and then interesting. Go out and look for a place for shelter. Let's see what they left for us. All right, I'm gonna take a look at this engine and see what we can use out of here. See, uh, uh, this is a little side note on this. This is all done in uh, third person. It's not done by a third camera, a third person playing. So that's why I'm like looking around, like, well, I don't know exactly how to control this character. Spark plug still have any spark left in it? Yes. Yeah, the spark we, plug maybe does. we can use the spark plug. I took it out. All right, we got that. What's in this? Yeah, here's a spark there's a, plug. There's a compartment right here. What's what's in this? Here, I'll check the storage container. Flint was our spark plug. Uh, Flint steel. Let's see. There's a wrench. Oh, wrench. Nice. Uh, we can use to take apart the boat and take <laughs> it with us for, you know, we need shelter or something. We can, uh, some string we can use for, I don't know, tying stuff. <laughs> and uh, we got a bottle of water. All ad -libs. One single bottle of water. But we're in the swamp land, so at least we're not right. in the ocean. You couldn't drink the ocean water. We have it covered. Yeah, we just gotta sterilize this water though, boil it, and at least we got one bottle. One bottle of fresh water. We got the spark plug. We have a good way of ignition source. We do have a spark plug. We just gotta <laughs> okay. find a dry tinder. Alright. Uh, I think we should take this boat as well. It might be a good source of shelter. So, uh... <laughs> Use my trusty bolt. wrench here. Boat. <laughs> and start taking this apart. Yes, he is incredible. Alright, let's start by adventuring the way. off. Maybe we can find some kind of shelter for the night. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think we should uh kind of try to find out which direction we're going. You know, get our bearings. So, smart, smart. Yeah, so uh let's see. Yeah, I, I just keep running. Figure this out. Hmm. Cow jumping in the background. Alright, if you take a look at these these trees right here. Now, I just want to say, we had no clue what we were talking about during this whole video. So what he was about to say <laughs> was all ad-libbed and I was just sitting there cracking up the whole time. Uh, if you notice, um, <laughs> more branches are, you know, coming off one side. Mm -hmm. It's because of uh, 
for these trees to get maximum photosynthesis. Maximum. <laughs> they, uh, in the northern region of the earth, the branches grow off the southern side, so they get maximum amount of light from the sun. <laughs> so, make a lot of sense, poop monster. See, south would be that way, and civilization is north, so we need to be headed this way. I don't know how he knew civilization would be north, but... <laughs> Jason says that uh, he'd rather not eat fungus, but last chance resort, we're going to need some sort. You can tell I don't know how to hit when I'm not looking at the... Yeah, it was weird, really weird, the food. So we'll just go ahead and take some of these mushrooms for later. In case he can't find anything to eat. In extreme situations, you need to use the resources that you have. Well, we know we have the boat, so let's pin the boat up to give us rain cover. Yeah, I'll wedge it right between these two trees. Should be perfect. <laughs> Doesn't it look like the boat still, guys? It's all turned sideways. It's still got the chest compartment. Uh. All right, we got this boat. Gave us perfect cover for the from the rain. And uh, yeah, the next step is for uh, for us to get a fire started. So why don't you go out? Uh, I'll try to search, find some dry tender. Search for some tender and some wood. Get a fire started. Um, I'll go see what I could find food-wise. See if I can go hunt down some pigs or something. For gathering dry tender, you want to go as high as possible. That way you are getting the driest material. But if you go too far up, the rain catches it. It won't be too dry. So you want kind of in the middle. That was actually true. Okay, I got that from the video. Oh, there we go. Look. Don't ask how sticks just automatically drop from a tree, okay? This isn't terra firma crap, trust me. That, we have some tinder. Building a fire with the uh, materials that we have. This is hilarious. This is my favorite part of the whole series. F, it's gonna be slightly impossible, probably about a 20% chance, so let's see if we can get this fire going with the spark plug that we were given from the, the, the boat. So let's, wow, first try. That doesn't happen all the time. But to keep this fire going, we're gonna have to watch it, just like you watch a baby. Because if you don't watch it, you turn your back for one second, the baby's drinking Drano. <laughs> no, that's not ad lib. That's actually from one of the episodes. If you ever seen Dual Survival, he says that, and I was just sitting there cracking up when he said it. And Jason was like, "You should say that. That should be awesome." <laughs> so I had to. All right, let's go. Let's go hunting. Follow me. Oh, oh, get out, get out, shh, get out. Alright, we found ourselves some meat. Alright, you stay here. You guys stay here. I'm gonna go see if I can get one of those cows. Charge! Mission Impossible included. Alright. Sweet. Oh, there's another one. Come here. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of meat. Lots of meat. Lots of meat. Alright. All right, let's get this meat back to camp before it starts to spoil. And uh, yeah, let's 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 start going. Come on. <laughs> All right, it's getting nighttime. We need to stoke this fire up. That way, we have a good light source. And when that was stoke the fire up, not start the fire up. I knew it was already started. Jason gets back. I made some special treats. I got some mushroom soup in case he comes back unsuccessful. All right, good news, Josh. Oh, got you, you got meat. Yeah. You can have all, all right. the meat you want, but the protein I like the most is mushroom soup. That's what. I don't think mushroom soup is even protein. It's fungus. I have no clue. But I'm. Oh, got yourself a little mushroom soup there, huh? Yeah, I was gonna give you some too. But it seems like you already brought something back. Stoking the fire. All right, all right. Now I'm gonna cook up this beet. All right. Let me get it in the fire. Oh. Uh. Alright, all right, let that cook for a little while. Yeah, see, yours yeah. takes a while. Mine, I can just munch on right now. Yeah. Mm. No, you didn't make me any. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I'll wait. You you smell that? Smell what? <laughs> this is this is a pretty funny part too. It smells like something's burning. <gasps> oh crap! <laughs> you put the fire too close to the tree. Hey, no oh. one said I was perfect, okay? <laughs> uh, put it out, put no, it out. There's no way we're putting this out. It's spread too far. We gotta... <laughs> oh, my God. 
Okay. We gotta move the boat. We gotta get another spot. Alright. Actually, well, we're just actually standing the boat's... The fire. Oh, the boat's stuck! No! Okay. Well, we're gonna have to make some other sort of shelter. Let's go before this fire gets out of control. Right. We decided to hunker down by the boat. The fire had subsided. We lost our flame, though. Uh, hopefully, we will get another spark from that. We decided to switch it to uh, gravel. That way, it looks more like a fl and like it would burn down. But, uh, spark plug, but it seems like uh, we can at least take our boat back because we're gonna need it yeah. later on. You know what? I'm gonna check the storage compartment one more time. See what I can find. What'd you find? Oh, look what I found. What'd you find? I can't believe I missed this. I found a flashlight. We spent the whole night without a flashlight with just a firelight, and then he finds a flashlight. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. We have something for nighttime when it comes again. We should really get out of this place, though. Start moving on. Maybe we can find civilization somewhere. The whole premises on the flashlight was, you'll see, in, it will, we're fixing to go through a dark spot, and we were, we were ad-libbing again through the whole video, so we didn't know what we were going to do next, and we were like, let's go through a cave system. That would be cool. And, uh... And we were like, we need a light source, it's going to be too dark in there. And then he was like, oh, we'll just put it in the chest and act like I forgot about it. Okay, let's take this with us. Alright, let's go. Let's head out. Plenty of cows right by campus. Alright, we need to find We need to find some other shelter. Oh, hey. Josh, this way. Look, look what you I find? found. What'd you find? I think we might have found an alternate shelter. Okay. Alright, let's... Let's head down here, check it out. Oh, it's awful dark. Oh, yeah it is. Who knows what could be living in here? Oh, I don't know. Let me get the flashlight. Oh. I don't know. This is creepy. There's light on the other side though. Yeah, there is. Alright, take this. <laughs> Let's go over there. I have to slowly move the flashlight along with this, even though he already had like torches in his hand Let's after. see what we got. Oh, it's just a tunnel. It's just oh. a little cave that leads to the other side. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I'm not not too sure we should bulk her down in here. No. There could be a lot of this this could be home to a lot of vicious animals, so I think we better and keep on moving. Look for somewhere something else. Which way should we go? Uh I think we should keep heading north. It's getting night out. We really need to find some shelter. Yeah, me. I'm gonna find a tree I can climb. See if I can see anything off in the distance. Uh, uh, let's see, this one right here. It's so hard to walk in third this. person. Alright. Uh, oh! Hey, you see, I, you see, I see a village. You see something from up there? Yeah, I see a village right off in the distance. Alright, well, let's head out that way. Alright, let's go. Straight off that way. Oh, I see what you're I see it. We were kind of trying to find a quick way to end it, and we were like, oh, let's just build a house by a, a dock or something like that. They'll lit up for us. Yeah. Oh, we got an egg. Oh, Sweet. there's a chicken, too. There must be people around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yep. Throwing the egg. All right. Civilization. What's in here? Oh, there's a sign. Oh. Apparently the guy's gone hunting. Apparently. And he's got meat cooking in the oh. stove, so he's been here recently. Oh. He's got some tools. He's got a boat! Kinda like the boat. He's got a here. boat out here. Nice. A boat out here. I didn't know how to control the camera. Transportation to salvation. I, th I say we, sh we hold up here for the night until the guy gets back. He he'll have to know where we're at. Yeah, for sure. Maybe he'll let us use his boat or give us a ride. Safety, yeah. All right. Maybe. All right, guys. Well, we showed you how to survive in the Louisiana swamplands. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, entertaining at the most, but uh, I thought it was actually a pretty good, uh, at least close. It was our first ever type of acting skills, and the video is really, really old to begin with. Uh, I think it's at least six, seven months old. I don't have to go back and look, but uh, thanks for uh, coming with me into the Nerve Vault, and I uh, hope to see you guys 
uh, more often. Uh, I do have some other videos I'd love to show you guys, so uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see some of my old stuff that you guys probably haven't seen before. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye.